All right, guys. Hey, my YouTubers and everyone in the world. Today is May the 30th. The time is now 9.15. No, it's May 31st. The time is now 9.15 p.m., guys. Look at this. I just took my braids out, and I wanted you guys to get a look at it because by the time I shoot tomorrow's vlog, obviously, my hair is going to be done. But yes, this is the update of what my hair looks like when I actually take it out of braids, guys. And my hair has grown so much. I want you guys to take a look at the back as well. I'm not really able to see it right now, but this is what my hair looks like after I take my braids out so you guys can see I actually like the look it's cute it's kind of fun it's wild and I think that's what I like about it I could take it and you know get it out my face if you guys want to see like a hey. but I also like my hair has grown so much guys and I, I've honestly been taking very very good care of it but this is what it looks like now so you guys can see a head full of hair but I'm going to let you guys see what it's going to look like after I get my hair relaxed tomorrow. But most likely it's either going to be in the curls or I'm going to have it wrapped up. But I wanted you guys to get a quick update. And I just trimmed it about um probably like maybe three, four weeks ago or something. But yes, that is the update, guys. And this is what my hair looked like. But if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And, of course, visit my website at shoploveronline.com. Until next time, guys. So, hey, my YouTubers and everyone in the world. Today is June the 1st. The time is now 3.14 p.m. So, yes, it is a beautiful Saturday all day, guys. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell so you can see more of me. Now, today's topic is going to be a hair update but not only that, I'm also going to talk to you guys about something that I tried for the first time ever. And you guys are going to be like, what? In 30 years, she never tried that? And not only that, we're also going to talk about different ways on how to stand up for yourself. So today's conversations are going to be a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Now, first off, the hair update. So as you guys know, I took my hair out yesterday and it was like, pew like that. So I decided to go get my hair relaxed today because, you know, um, it was just time. It was time. It's time for a change. So I wanted to give you guys a, a quick update on what my hair is looking like now. I actually got my hair relaxed and then I had her, of course, you know, wash it, blow it out and put it in the normal curls that she would put it in and then pin it up. So, this is what it looks like right now, guys. So, yeah, it's going to be like this for the next couple months because, as you guys know, I am on a hair journey. So, that is the first thing. Second thing we're going to talk about is something I tried for the first time, guys. And I've never, ever, ever tried this before. But, bow! Bow! Yes! This is my first coconut ever, guys. I never actually, like, drunk out of a coconut. I've always wanted to, but I just never did. But today was the first time I actually, you know, I've drunk, you know, I had coconut water before. But I never actually had it, like, directly from the coconut. And look, guys, I was just, mmm. I would definitely do it again. If you guys have never had a coconut before or natural, you should try it. And what I like most about, about it is that um, it has an acquired taste to it, but it's a little bit sweet, but in a good way, but it's not too sweet, which is fabulous for me because I don't like um, drinks that have like too, too much sugar unless I'm feeling weak and I need a boost of energy. But this is perfect, guys. And I heard that there's some type of gel inside of it. Um, I didn't get to that part yet. But yes, my first coconut ever. You guys could see me drinking on camera and see what it's like. And, you know, it's just, and I like it. Like, just the thought of drinking out of something like this is just amazing because it's so natural and it's cool. But... 
our um third topic for today is going to be you know what stand up for yourself and it's really important for us to start standing up for ourselves for so many different reasons but honestly speaking one way to stand up for yourself is just don't be afraid to speak your mind a lot of times we allow people to get under our skin hurt our feelings we allow them to bully us we allow them to say whatever they want and then we just don't say anything because we're afraid of what they might say back we're afraid of them or maybe they are in a position where, you know, they could probably kick us out the house if we open up our mouths. But I feel like it is important to stand up for yourself and speak your mind because it's healthier for you. It'll make you feel better just to get things off of your chest, you know. And um, another reason why you got to stand up for yourself is because God blessed you with a mind and a mouth of your own for a reason. So if you feel like there's something that's on your mind you know, definitely express yourself and don't be afraid of how other people are going to feel because obviously they're not worried about how they're making you feel when they're hurting your feelings. Um, a third reason why I feel like it's important for us to learn to speak up for ourselves is because us speaking up for ourselves will let a person know where they stand with us moving forward, you know, so... It is a such thing as expressing yourself in a positive way, but getting your point across. And I think that's what I've learned to master um, over time. You know, you don't have to be loud. You don't have to be overly aggressive. You don't have to curse to get your point across. But you just have to be clear with the things that you want to say so that that person will understand that, you know, it's okay to play with me. It's okay to talk to me. But it's not okay for you to, you know, um, try to hurt my feelings or disrespect me or try to play me in some type of way. So that's why it's really important for you to start expressing yourself and stand up for yourself. If you believe in something you know what? Believe in what you believe in, no matter what anyone else has to say about it. And this is why I'm telling you, start expressing yourself so much more than you ever have, because today is the day to do it. You know, people need to know that they have to respect you and they need to know that you're willing to stand up for yourself and speak up for yourself. And let me tell you something, when you start to speak up for yourself and use your own mind, it is going to rub people the wrong way. Because now they can't run over you the way that they used to. Now they can't talk to you any type of way like they used to. Now they have no choice but to respect you. And that's what it is that you want. So it really is important for you to start speaking up for yourself and expressing yourself more. And don't feel like you're being mean because you're, you know, giving your honest opinion. No, you're being honest about something that you're, you know, whatever the situation is, you're just giving your honest opinion. And if a person does not respect your word, then at least you know you don't want someone like that in your presence. So I felt like I needed to vlog about this and tell you guys out there to start expressing yourself and stand up for yourself. Because that's the only way you're going to get respect. If you don't stand up for yourself and you don't express yourself, then people will always run over you. They will always have negative things to say. They will always try to bully you and tell you, let them know that you're not having it no more. So if you want the nonsense to stop in your life, then you have to put it into it. I hope that you guys like this video. But um, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And like I always say, if you guys have any topics or any comments, always make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And like I always say, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And of course, visit my website at shoplevelonline.com. Until next time, guys, peace.